All right, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakaq Wadash. We give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing the push of the work in truth, act, and sincerity. Okay, um, just want to go on this topic of, uh, you know, sometimes the Lord gives uh, friendly reminders, okay? Especially when you're uh, going through hell. Okay, um, the Lord uh, gives you those friendly reminders, you know, to let you know where it's all coming from. Okay, and that he got you. Okay, that, you know, you, you will be protected, you know, once you go through those trials, man. Okay, because it's, you know, it's meant for us to go through, you know, trials and test of our faith, you know, while in this truth. Okay, and then, you know. The tough part about it is you know where it's coming from, you know? That's why we got to, you know, be uh, in that, uh, you know, submissive spirit towards your help by Samuel Shah, you know, because it's all the Lord's will at the end of the day, you know? But I'm going to get this, Second Peter 1 and 12. It says, Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things. Okay, now Peter wrote this, but you know, the Lord put the spirit on Peter to say this. Okay, so, you know, the Lord is not going to be negligent, okay, to put us re in remembrance of, of, of these things, man. Okay, it says, though you know them and be established in the present truth, because, yeah, we know that as time goes on, you know, that uh, how will Y'all, uh, Shah is going to come to deliver us, you know, but we got to go through the bullshit, okay, from now until then in order to, to, to get, uh, to, to there, okay? So we have to, we have to be established in the present truth, okay? And the present truth, you know, is we're going to be tried, okay, in many different ways, <clears throat> you know, in order to, to uh, try our faith, okay? This is 1 John 2 and 21. I have not written unto you because you know, know not the truth, but because you know it, and that no lie is of the truth, okay? Who is a liar? But he that denies that Yahweh is the Hamashiach, okay? Um, he is anti Antichrist or anti Messiah, okay? Um, that denieth the Father and the Son. Okay. It says, Whosoever denies the Son, the same has not the Father. But he that acknowledges the Son has the Father also. Let that therefore abide in you where you have heard from the beginning. Okay. If that which you have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, you also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. Because that's our hope, you know, that, you know, Yahweh Shah is going to come to deliver us, okay? From Yahweh, 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 okay? Um, now, the word abide, okay, which I got this, uh, 1 Corinthians 7 and 24. Brethren, let every man wherein he is called, because different brothers, you know, come in from different lifestyles, right? But it says, therein abide with Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. The word abide, okay, the definition means accept or act in accordance with, okay? So you have to, to, to accept the fact that you was called and that the Lord wants you to act a certain way, okay? Or be a certain way, okay? Uh, it says, accordance with a rule, a descent decision or recommendation okay uh comply with obey okay observe follow keep to hold to hold hold on to his word it says conform to conforming to what being an israelite is okay adhere to stick to stand by okay act in accordance with uphold heed accept go along with okay acknowledge respect and defer to Okay, so when you go through those uh, those times, okay, you're supposed to 
keep the, the, the fact that the Lord is in control of everything, okay? And then after you go through that, that um, temptation, which you should be happy that you're going through the temptation anyway, is uh, the book of uh, James 1 and 2 says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse uh, temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith works patience, okay? So you should be happy that you're going through uh, some type of temptation, you know, because the Lord at the end of the day, he got you, okay? Even even if you have to go through the time of Jacob's trouble, which that's what we're going to have to go through, okay? You should know that the Lord got you, man, okay, and that he's going to protect you, okay? Now, an example of the Lord sending friendly reminders, okay, it's in the scriptures, Okay, Genesis 9 and 12. And, and Yahweh Bashmiel Shah said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. Okay? See what this word perpetual uh, is. Uh, Awalam. Okay, Awalam. Okay. And that means long duration, antiquity, futurity, okay, forever, ever, everlasting, evermore, perpetual, old, ancient world, okay, continuous existence, okay, unending, eternity, okay, perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be a token of my covenant, of, of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. Okay. And the bow shall be in the cloud. And I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. Okay. So you got to know if the Lord did something is major. Okay. It is setting a rainbow in, in the, the clouds for for us to, to, you know, have that remembrance. Okay. That the Lord isn't going to destroy the world with, with water anymore. And that's a friendly reminder. Okay. How much more if you're actually pushing for his truth, okay, and abiding in his word when you're going through temptation, okay? So the Lord has sold, you know, that he, he does friendly reminders, okay, and from the very beginning, okay? And um, when you go through hell, you know, oftentimes, you know, you may see after you go through hell, um, you know, like, like the numbers, 144. Okay, or or you're around brothers and you see the numbers 144. Okay, or or you're you're um you 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 out by yourself, or you may be with brothers and and you see uh chariots. Okay, and you you know the chariot just just zooms, you know, and it's only to the point where you was you was able to see that. That's a friendly reminder, man, because the Lord, you know, as the scriptures say. I want to get that man uh jeremiah 29 and 11 for i know the thoughts that i think toward you says the lord thoughts of peace and not and not of evil to give you an expected end and what is our expected end that we end up being saved man okay it says then you shall call upon me and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Okay? So when you when you uh when you end up going through some type of hell and you end up seeing that um that that you know that that friendly reminder, okay, even if you're going through hell, pray. But when you see that friendly reminder, hey, the water you help us me outside, you know. The water you help us in your side. It says, and you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart, with all your mind. Okay, so the Lord sends those 
those friendly, you know, reminders, man. Okay, because he wants he wants you know us to 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 have peace, man. Okay, which that's what we're fighting for. It says Colossians two and seven, rooted and built up in him, uh, and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. And when you go into the word, uh, steady, okay, or steadfast, it says firmly fixed, supported, or balanced. Not shaking or moving. Okay, and we're, you know, we're like trees. You know, in this truth. Okay? We're, we're, we're supposed to be like trees in this truth. Okay? What the scriptures say? Because that's a parable. Uh, Mark 8 and 24. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. Okay? So if you're in this truth, okay, you're supposed to be rooted. Okay? And in, in a tree... That's really rooted, okay, no matter what wind or, or you know, uh, uh, weather, okay, comes to, to try to knock that tree off, it's still going to stand, okay? And, and a lot of, and trees endure a lot, man, okay? From, from the so-called white man trying to cut them down, okay, to, uh, you know, different, uh, you know, Animals and stuff like that. Fucking with them. You know. Trees endure a lot. Okay. So we supposed to be like trees man. In this. This truth. Okay. Psalms 40 and 5. Many. O Lord my power. Are your wonderful works. Which you has done. And your thoughts. Which are to us work. That cannot be reckoned. Up and order unto you. If I would there, de de if I would declare and speak of them, there are more than can be numbered. So there are many things, man. If you're in this truth that the Lord has done for you, man, you know you can't even number them, man. It's impossible. If you if you're in this truth, man, you shouldn't be having that. Oh, I'm just catching all type of hell for no reason, you know. You don't you don't know when the Lord actually blessed you or why you actually you know continuing on. You just you just thinking that you know shit is just happening to you for no reason. The Lord is just making you catch hell for no reason. Okay, and you 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 don't you can't count you know or, or, or even say how many blessings that the Lord gave you. You know, not you might be yeah. The Lord blessed me that one time. But the Lord bless you numerous times. You just you just don't even uh take take thought to it, man. Okay, and if you don't take thought to it, then guess what? You're gonna get destroyed, man. Okay? You have a lot of people that don't give respect onto the Lord, man. Okay? But those who who, who do, okay, you're gonna understand and realize that the blessings that the Lord uh done done. The works that he did towards us, okay, even waking us up into this truth, okay, you can't even, you can't, new, you can't put a number on that, man, okay. Um, continuing on, this is First Corinthians fifteen and fifty-eight, and I'm gonna end it on this. Therefore, my bre beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And there's a scripture, okay? I said I wanted to end it on that, but uh, the spirit, uh, you know, moves how it moves, man. Okay? Hebrews 6 and 10. For Yahweh Shem Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have sold towards his name, and that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. Okay? So if the Lord is not unrighteous to forget your work and what you're doing, okay? He's going to give you that friendly reminder that hey, you you're going through hell. He go he go, you know, uh, a reminder to, to to let you know that you know, I'm 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 watching over you. And and when the time of Jacob's trouble come and we you know, if you endure past that hour of temptation okay the lord is going to look at you and be like 
you know, my son, you know, I see, I see that you, you know, have done what I said. So here go, I reminded you that I will save you. And, and here go Yahweh Shah to come uh, deliver you. Okay. So with that, man, you know, I want to say Shalom.